but I did want to do Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. I am back with another video. Look at me go. I'm trying. <laughs> For this video, I'm going to be talking about my spring TBR, but also my March TBR. I will be honest and say that some of the books that I put on my spring TBR are going to be my March TBR because I'm still working through um, just getting my reading back to normal. And though it's been decent so far this year, um, I still just want to take it slow and work my way getting back into it just like I'm slowly trying to get back into my channel and consistency and everything. So for spring I actually asked my friends to give me some prompts instead of using my TBR jar um, just because it was I thought it would be like refreshing and fun to do it that way. I did end up pulling at least two prompts from my jar because um, I realized that I asked for five and I wanted like seven prompts just to have that like number so diving in the first prompt that I was given was finish a series you've been putting off which is actually a really good prompt and I might even be adding that into my jar because I have a lot of series that I probably should finish or should work towards finishing that I've been putting off because I'm me and so yeah so I chose a book that I actually meant to read last month but my reading kind of took like a turn um, where it just kind of paused just because I was visiting with family and everything and traveling and usually when I'm in that headspace reading is like not at the forefront of my mind. So um, the book I chose was Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Moss. This is the last book in the Throne of Glass series. Um, I meant to, Again, I meant to read it in February but was thrown off so I went ahead and just moved it to this month. March so that way I can finally finish the series and I can be done and I can like be proud of myself for actually committing and following through with finishing the series so we love that for me um I don't know what to expect in this last book um I know what I want to happen but I don't know what Miss Miss Moss is gonna bring to the table so we're just gonna go with it and just see whether I love it or hate it <laughs> because I have no idea what I'm going to feel. The next prompt I was given was a book that intimidates you. So again, this is another book I meant to read last month and I didn't get around to it, but I really do want to get to it because it is one of Syl's favorites and I did promise them I would try to read it this year. And that is A Decoration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Perry. I, I really don't remember or I don't even know if I read the synopsis of this, but I don't know what it's about. All I know is is that it does take place during the French Revolution and I think Napoleon Bonaparte is somehow in this story somewhere. So that's kind of all I know and I'm like a big history nerd so I'm kind of excited to read this and see like how it takes the fantastical elements and everything but at the same time I don't read a lot of historical like books so it's it's interesting I feel like I've been branching out and reading those a little bit more the past few months but it's still not a norm so I'm definitely intrigued to see what this does for me if I enjoy it or not so I think the second book might be out or it's coming out this year so I'm I'm hoping I'll like it by the time that hits or if or by the time I get my hands on it I'll say it that way but who knows so the next one I got was a book you owned for two years or more so for that one I actually pulled the lucky ones by Liz Lawson I don't remember much what this was about I think I bought it like a year or two ago like I had to be two years ago if not three um, but it's a YA I think hard contemporary um, and I think it has something to do with like like the theme of a school shooting I can't remember for sure and I don't feel like looking at the synopsis right now but I remember when I bought this I was really looking forward to reading it so 
I figured it's, it's probably time so I can either read it and keep it or read it and get rid of it. I'm trying to clear my shelves this year so I'm gonna go with that but yeah so I'm gonna throw in some YA Contemporary. It's been a minute that I've read YA Contemporary and I actually haven't really been enjoying them as much as I've been wanting to and I don't know if that just means my tastes are growing or what but hoping for the best. All right so next prompt was 500 pages or more so I'm going to be moving on to the third book in the Last Magician series quartet I don't know um and that is The Serpent's Curse by Lisa Maxwell this is book three in that series quartet um I read book two actually I finished it I believe last month so I wanted to go ahead and just read book three while it's still fresh in my mind so that way I can just move on to the fourth book and be done um, where book two left off, it was weird, so I really don't have any expectations going into this third book besides expecting it to be weird because the second book was weird. So, yeah, I don't, obviously I'm not going to talk about the second book because spoilers, but the first book is about this girl named, I think it's Esta, and she... Um, has been trained her entire life to go back in time, you like use her ability to go back in time and gather these like big artifacts for this old man that's like basically her adoptive father. And so he sends her back um, to, I don't remember the exact time, but he sends her back um, to a specific time period. I think it's like the 20s in order to um gather the last artifact and so there she kind of gets wrapped up in the people and the groups and the the issues that were happening during that time and she starts to really doubt her adopted father and really probably kind of open her eyes to the fact that maybe she's been manipulated this whole time and maybe people aren't who they seem they are seem like they are um and so it's very interesting because the whole book you're kind of just kind of you're playing this like guessing game of like who can you trust because at this point it seems like everybody's lying about something even esther herself so it's it's very intriguing all right so a book recommendation um is the next prompt chanel recommend me recommended me boyfriend material by alexis hall i'm gonna be honest i feel like i've seen so many bad reviews about that book <laughs> that I'm kind of nervous <laughs> and I feel like this was a hate crime but Chanel said she's reading it and she's actually liking it so who knows we're just gonna go with it we'll see what happens I could probably get the audiobook and we'll just go from there I don't know what this book is about I just know it's about I think it's a queer love story I see the two guys on the cover with um the Eiffel Tower so I'm guessing London or a British person plays a role into this but we're just we're just gonna dive in and and see how it goes. Goodness. All right. Next prompt is read a book with a squad or found family. This is the one one of the ones that I pulled from my jar. So for that, I pull. I'm gonna read um, Betrayed, which is the second book in the Marked se or House of Night series. I read Marked last month, I believe, and so um, now it's time to move on to Betrayed, which is the second book. And I picked this specifically for this one because um, in the second book, uh, Zoe has found like her group, her friend group within the school that she has moved to, and they also become like her family. So I figured it would it was a, a a good fitting book for this prompt specifically. So if you don't know, this book is about a girl named Zoe Redbird who lives in a world where you're either human or you're a vampire. And so when you're a vampire, what happens is you are marked, and so you get like a little mark on your forehead, and then you are supposed to immediately sent to one of the um, school, like boarding schools for vampires, where they train you on the lifestyle of a vampire and the phases that your body goes through in completing its process into becoming a vampire. The catch is though, at any point during this process, your body could just give up and die and not like be able to successfully um, adapt to the change. 
so um at any point you could just like drop dead <laughs> so zoe is marked and she is sent to this school which is the house of night and um there she is trying to like find her people and her squad and find where she fits into this world um while also like adapting to the fact that she's not human anymore but also uh, dealing with the complicated uh, relationships she had in the human world that are still trying to like attach them to attach themselves to her in the vampire world so it's it's very interesting and then it, um there is also the fact that she's special so when she was marked and she um went through the first stage of the process her mark was actually filled in which isn't supposed to happen to you're much older and she ended up gaining um very special abilities that basically marks her as a special person in this world or whatever so yeah that's the story and that's why it fits into this prompt <laughs> and the last prompt for my spring tbr is a scroll bookstagram and pick out a pick a random book so i did that already i didn't record it because i didn't feel like it um and so i actually found a post by kayla from books and lala and in the post one of the books that I saw that I actually own was A Dowry of Blood by um, S.T. Gibson. This is like the older cover, I think. And I figured I would go ahead and give this a try because Cell and them have all been saying I need to read it. And I think this was a gift from somebody. Who knows who? Oh, Cell. It was a gift from Cell. So I figured this would be a good time to go ahead and read it. It's pretty short, so I know it's not going to take a long time and go from there from all i remember about this synopsis is that it has something to do with vampires i think it's reverse harem but i am not positive i could be totally wrong and i could be thinking of another book <laughs> so we'll see we'll see what happens but i really do hope i enjoy this because i know everybody else has now i want to move on to my march tbr very quickly so out of all those props I showed you, um, I only picked four to focus on for this month and then I just added in a couple like extras. So for the first prompt, I chose to finish a series you've been putting off. So obviously I'm going to be reading Kingdom of Ash so I can finally finish that series this month. Um, next I chose a book that intimidates you. So I did um, decide to pick up a declaration of the rights of the magicians just because um, I did mean to read I did mean to read it last month and then time got away from me so I definitely want to make sure to make it a priority for this month so the next prompt was 500 pages or more so I chose that one because I also wanted to just go ahead and get to serpent's curse um this month it looks like I'm this month might be a month for sequels pretty much um so I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way as well and then the last prompt I chose was a book with a squad or found family so I could um go ahead and start the next book in the house of night series um which is betrayed so it it actually looks like it is a month of sequels <laughs> I did not plan that just so you know so next um I'm also going to be picking up my buzzword for March which is the word secret it has to have the word secret in the title so luckily um one of my new favorite romance authors is tessa bailey and so she is actually coming out with a new book this month called secretly yours um so i put the cover up here so i think that should be coming out in march i at least that's what I understood when I was looking up dates and stuff. So I'm probably going to get my hands on that and hopefully I will be reading it. So there's that. So I'll sprinkle in a little romance on top of all the fantasy I've managed to put on my list. And so then I have two extra books um, that I will be trying to read in. No, three extra books that I'll be trying to fit in. And then I will be done with my TBR. So, the first extra book I have is Half a Soul by Olivia At Alt Atwater. So, originally this was not on my list. And then Monet said she was reading it and she wanted to buddy read this. So, we will be buddy reading this <laughs> next month. Um, I don't remember really what this is about. I think there's like something to do with a fairy and a curse. And I think the girl's trying to break the curse or something like that. So, I don't know. I just saw the cover and I thought it was pretty. And then 
um sorry about the lighting it's like weird okay there we go and then um i just picked it up so we're just gonna go with it and hope for the best the next book i wanted to read was um the serpent and the wings of night by carissa broadbent so this was a indie book that sal thought i would like or monet wanted to me to read it was one or the other so i went ahead and picked it up and i want to give it a try because it does sound interesting out so it's from what i understand it's a world full of vampires and this girl has been adopted by the vampire queen and she basically like the vampire king and she basically has to prove herself to this world of vampires so that's all i got but the cover is pretty <laughs> and we're gonna go with that <laughs> am i gonna have another twilight moment i don't know probably not but will i enjoy this i hope so so then the last book i kind of planned this is like a tentative plan i i kind of wanted to do it this month but it, it could i could push it off to april too if i don't get around to it i do want to reread some series this year and so one of the series that i do want to try and reread is from blood and ash by jennifer l armentrout um i feel like i read this series in a blur last year like i just like consumed everything which isn't a bad thing, but I consumed it very fast. <laughs> and so now I want to, now that there's like been a break, and I think the next book doesn't come out to the fall, or maybe in the summer, I don't remember. But I want to take the time to go ahead and sit down and reread it and see how it goes from there. Um, just because I've been thinking about it and I've been thinking about Poppy and the world and everything. And so I just want to go back through and read the beginning <laughs> i can't explain this this urge but i'm just gonna follow through with it and see where it goes <laughs> so yeah that's my tentative plan with this one that is my march and spring tbr um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully i made sense talking about any of these books and my urges if you like the video like it down below if you have any comments questions concerns please leave all that in the comment section down below let me know what you'll be reading in march or what you have planned to read this spring whatever one if you are not good at commenting go ahead and leave me an emoji um you guys can leave me like a little oh leave me like um one of those i think it's like a like a three or four leaf clover i think that emoji is up um for st patrick's day because march and green so yeah, and if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. I promise I am trying to work on my consistency. I'm trying to put more videos out and I'm trying to edit as fast as I can while also doing all the other things in my life. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. You guys are awesome flowers in a world full of weeds.